What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayne, this is Fade the Black. If you like auto restyling and changing up your car to make it look different than anybody else's, then you're in the right place. Smash that subscribe button, be a part of the FTB Fade the Black family. I have a repeat customer in. I've probably done like four of this customer's trucks, so I greatly appreciate any customer that will bring me repeat business. But for this video, I kinda wanna show you guys a tip that I think for front windshields will help you just slay them. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the tip right now. What I'm gonna do is get this windshield shrunk down, and then I'll show you the tip that I think helps make the difference in your install. But as you can see, it's a 2015 Chevy Silverado. Now these windshields aren't really that tough to do. They look big, but they're actually pretty small and pretty narrow from the top to bottom. In my opinion, they're pretty narrow. So rolling them in isn't really that difficult. This customer is gonna do 5% on the sides, and then they're gonna do a 50% windshield. And like I said before, I think 50% windshield is perfect. It takes away that glare from the sunlight. So like I said before, and I said in my other videos, that sun off the snow is just blinding. So this 50% windshield is gonna help keep this customer going down the road, help with reduce eye strain and just help him seeing what's going on in front of his truck a lot better. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this window shrunk and I'll be back. Stay tuned, check out the video. So I already went ahead, I cleaned the inside of the glass already. I got the soak shield rope down in the channel to help prevent the water getting down behind the dashboard. And I got the soap on the windshield already in the dash towel, so I'm already set up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get some film on the window and get it shrunk down.
glass is shrunk out all on the windshield, I actually went ahead and trimmed it out. Now this is a tip that I wanna tell you guys, all right? A lot of people will shrink their glass out or shrink their film out on the glass, cut it, and then get ready to just go ahead and install. Now, what I like to do is just take a few extra minutes to save you trouble when you're putting the film inside. Because we all know once you get the film inside the car, you don't want to mess with any extra crazy heat or anything like that where you could ruin the, hit the dashboard or ruin any interior pieces. You don't want to do that. So do this and it will help save you time and energy down the road, even for back glasses as well. What I did, like I said before, I got this window already trimmed out all the way around. It's shrunk down already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the bottom and the top edge again with heat and just tighten that film up on the bottom. Basically, look around the film. You're going to see that it's really loose in a lot of areas, like especially around the rear view mirror, it gets really loose. So what you do is go back with heat after you trim your film out. Go back with heat again. Go around the bottom really well. Go around the top. Get the tension on the film really tight. And when you put it inside, you shouldn't get any extra fingering or anything like that. And your film should have a lot of tension to keep it snapped to the windshield. So basically what we're gonna do is just take all that extra slack that you see in the bottom of that film, we're just gonna heat that up and take that out. It takes a couple extra minutes, but I think that it helped in the long run. It will help you have a better, clean, and quicker install. You'll be able to squeeze it out. You'll be able to be good with it, done. No more extra mess around. It'll lay really well. And then, like I said, you can get in and out faster. And like I said, it will help with your installs down the road. Something to try next year. So just take a couple extra minutes after you cut the film out, after you trim your film out, after it's shrunk, and go around with heat again and get the excess slack out of that film. Tighten that film up along the bottom, tighten that film along the top, and when you install the film, it should lay in with no extra fingers or anything like that, and it'll just save you a lot of time and energy and trouble. So now I'm gonna heat the bottom and I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed and get this customer's windshield faded.
guys, I just finished wrapping up with this truck. Like I said before, 50% full windshield, and then I did 5% on the size of this truck. Remember, like I said before, the tip is, after you cut your film out and it's all shrunk down, go over the bottom and the tops again. Add a little bit more heat. You'll see that the tint kind of looks like it's still kind of saggy. I don't know how to explain it, but heat the bottom edge really well. Even, you can even lift up a little bit and heat the bottom edge of the top edge really well again. And basically what that's do is it will tighten up that film. So when you install that film, you won't have any fingers in the bottom. You won't have any fingers in the top. It just makes for just a lot less trouble once you get the film in the inside. This is one of the tips that I think just greatly helps me. I used to just shrink and just cut it out and just throw it inside. But now I take a couple extra minutes just to make sure that film is really good on the outside of the vehicle before you throw it in. It just saves you a lot of time inside. And like I said before, we do not wanna put any tools or heat guns or anything inside the vehicle more than what we have to and risk messing something up in a customer's car. So now I'll do a little walk around footage of the truck, show you guys how it turned out. If you like anything in these videos, man, please give a video a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that people are, are watching the video. Let them know that the content is relevant to what they want in their lifestyle. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the 50% windshield, 5% side. And if you like anything on my channel, man, please consider subscribing. And also check the link down below if you guys want to help support FTB. Because you know take, making these videos takes a lot of time and work. If you want to go support FTB, man, grab a t-shirt down below. Let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time. Stay faded. Now let's check this truck out.